again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host, Mike, and with me I have the Fab Four, missing on the five. Uh, that would be uh, Conejo, Rudy, and, or sorry, <laughs> a.k.a. Rudy. How y'all doing today? And What's then happening? You also have okay, no. Kage back yeah. as well for the boards. Hi there. Hey there. How y'all doing today? This is Kage. Hey, uh, Noodles, uh, we have a... You have a chair in the background? What's that all about? Yeah, our country's a little crippled right now, so I got us a wheelchair to try and push us along a little bit if we can. Oh, that that's good to have considering uh, the hey, new... Well, uh, you got one of those New York accent, guy. Uh, he no. Is from, he is from the People's Republic in new, of New York. Uh, he has yeah. that chair there because he just saw we're, the... He we're just, a point of becoming a Republican state if Zeldin wins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, noodles noodles just got the, the got the re, uh, report out there that was it 300 billion a new consumer credit card debt's going to be the almost the closing numbers for the year uh so we're almost up to like 900 billion i guess did you see that yeah thank god the uh thank god those loans didn't go through for the colleges huh oh yeah that could, that would have added more there that would have been worse uh, so one of the first stocks we're going to talk about is GME, GME, GameStop Corporation. It's trending in the news and it's popping everywhere. It is not a penny stock, so we don't need to state the obvious from some people on the boards that this is not a penny stock. Uh, the last tick on this one was $28.30. Going on to what would you say they do here if you've been hiding under a rock for a little bit and haven't been following any of this. GameStop offers games and entertainment products through its e-commerce properties. And it's uh, stores that operates through the following geographic segments, United States, Canada, Australia, Austria, good day, mate, uh, Europe. Uh, Put another Canada. shrimp on the bob, eh? Okay, I was going to say that or not say that. Uh, I was going to say don't throw one on, but he says throw one on. Night, uh, his headquarter is founded by Daniel DeMatteo, uh, 1996, and is headquartered in Grapevine, Texas. A controversial stock for the alphabet media. They do not like the traders of these people. They call them a meme stock. A mean meme stock. Uh, going on to stock twits, Kage, because that's where the real traders are at. What do you have on the twits? Uh, here's a take from Chocolate Tea. He says, GME, can't get over how huge the premiums on those calls were Monday. They took those premiums and did the short and run. At least a hundred mil for them to short, with probably w way more than that's on the conservative side. But they'll have to pay it back. Still, it just helps out their huge short supply just a tiny bit. Well, uh, what else you got there? Uh, well, how about this better. one from Kujil Kujil Two? I think it's called. Okay. Uh, she says. Amazing how desperate they are. Halts on GME. Now technical issues on another exchange. Still not selling. Army of Apes. Yeah, so uh, Camille's got the go apes there. We do appreciate uh, AMC Marine Ape. He did retweet our tweet about there about go apes and apes not leaving. No matter what the alphabet media says. Uh, GameStop. Uh, GameStop uh, this is this comes from where? The Strizzy? Yeah, this comes from the Strizzy there. Uh, looks like GameStop GameStop's uh, stock was uh, halted on Monday due to a large increase in trading volume. Oh, they're so they're back at that again, huh? Uh, they're they're worried that they're going to pull another fast one off again. Is that is that what the is that what the hedgies are worried about there, guys? Pretty much. And even for the last. Are they worried they're going to get tanked out, and they're worried about being able to pay the dough because they don't got the dough? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Possible. Thanks to the meme stock trends, you notice how they like to, they love to hit, see what the alphabet news does to you guys, uh, but we don't have respect for them anyway, so we don't care. They're, they're the press for the elite. Notice on the credit card deal too, as far as uh, with the credit card, guess who did not suffer from any credit card crunch or any rate changes? That would be your 10% of the wealthy there. Uh, thanks to the meme stock trends, looking at the company's business fundamentals gives it an in incomplete picture of GME. So they are totally tagging on this one, guys. Uh, the on October 31st, trading GameStop stock was halted twice due to considerable increase in trading volume. You guys have them pissing in their pants, scared. I will tell you that now, guys. They if they're if they're doing stuff like this, uh, they're freaking out about that. And uh, do you think there's could be some investigations into some of these this halting things and things like that, or is that just speculation? Oh, yeah. 
That's not no speculations, dude. There's a lot of pissed off people the last two years about this, about this halting thing. It says... When a stock moves sharp too sharply in either direction, it sometimes becomes a, vol a volatility halt. When this occurs, trading the stock pause for five minutes makes it impossible to buy or sell that stock at a time. In theory, volatility halts and keeps the market on an even keel. Uh, if you could remember last time when people were trying to cash out when it was uh, in the high dollar marks years ago, uh, people got pretty pissed off when Robin Hood just cut the trading off. Uh, so that was all over the boards. People were pissed off. Uh, what else do you have on the Twitch, Kage? Uh, how about this one from Jesus is King? He says, GME, bullish. Slapped the ask for five shares of GME today at 28.41 late in the day. Felt like the right thing to do. Not going to lie, I'm kind of excited regardless of what happens. As an avid game player growing up, I like the stock. But that new marketplace they have coming through, interesting. Okay, so it says, in theory, the volatility stops and keeps the market on the keel. Uh, volatility halts are com are quite common. GameStop stock has al al uh, already been halted several times this year and several times in the past. During the past days, movements in GMA have also indicated the rally was in the works. GameStop shares jumped uh, around 9% shortly after Monday's opening bell. Guys, you are also seeing that there is tons of chatter on Reddit. Is, is this a Reddit move right now uh, again? Uh, or are we just seeing uh, another flame? Uh, are you seeing just a happy talk and it's just going to die out the hype? Or is this another move again? Are we seeing more movement with the boards popping and things like that? We're seeing a lot of... Never mind. <laughs> You're going to cut it off because you don't want to get crowded right now? Yeah. Yeah. That sucks about him. Uh, yeah, shorts there's just a lot of people that are uh, not happy. The the ones who shorted all this, and they're not happy. There's no Rudy. Yeah, what's your like... thoughts about this, Rudy? That. What's your thoughts about this, Noodles? I don't know, man. Look every day. Like I say, man, I'm always, if I'm going to invest in something, I go in for the, the long haul, so I would just, I don't touch nothing. Uh, you also you also have an interesting take from Unstable Coin Doe. He says, what's up with the Halloween candy these days? Uh, and he, he opens up, he said, uh, my, fr my friend has the worst financial advice ever inside his son's Snickers bar. Uh, yeah, just wait when they start giving that out. That's actually a funny joke there. Um, uh, do, you, do you see a little ner uh, as we're reading this article do you notice there's a little bit of nervousness uh by the alphabets that protect uh the hedge funds here so are yeah. you guys noticing a little slant yeah yeah they're just uh shaking in their boots because their uh their puppet masters are not happy no and in case they in case oh go ahead the, the these hedge funds and these people, these kind of people will never be happy. Never no, they, gonna be happy uh, with the trader. amount of money that they have and they always want more and more and more. Mm -hmm. They're not and, on your side. Quite and honest, uh, I think it's mostly an ego and status symbol for them, I think. It is. Look at the look at the Super Bowl commercial that they made making the fun money. of their actual customers, saying they're trading with memes, sir. So you got anything to add to that, Noodles, as far as them making fun of the actual retail traders that are trading their own stock and buying? Uh, how about this one from Slim Trader, the Slim Trader? He says, GME, notice how on the year chart, every tall and long wick like yesterday is followed by a 30% move down the following week. The failed breakout isn't looking good. See what happens. You have some suspect bears on the boards. They're actually putting, uh, they're they're putting stuff to make themselves look like uh, they're part of the hedgies or something like that. Trying to infiltrate the boards and being negative. Nancy's going bear style on there. Okay. Father Jones, this is actually an interesting one. GME bullish. Let's try the parabolic disillusionment maneuver. And it's got a uh, a picture of a guy in the stock market saying, "Are they selling yet?" And the and the reply is, sir, they're effing buying more. Mm-hmm. 
That's that's the thing they're scared about. If they do drive the price up on there, and this is not we're not saying driving anything up, we're just observing. Uh, but what I'm saying is if they're if they're starting to drive the price up, I say the retail traders give them hell, man. Uh, it, so uh, the alphabets obviously they're trying to settle things down here. They say in case GameStop uh, stock retail investors have coordinated on social media sites like Reddit to pile into GME, causing short squeezes. According to S3 partner CEO. Bob Sloan, a short squeeze in GME was inevitable. It, the stock crossed the $30 mark. What happened on Monday? Short squeezes from one of the common stock have a lot more betting against them. Currently, about 20% of GameStop stock, stock float is being shorted, roughly $2 billion worth. Uh, so, you guys, you think this is the squeeze where they're trying to squeeze out the big dogs here? And they got bears coming, they got bears coming into to chat rooms now trying to scare them out and everything. They're all Sounds like a scare mode. tactic to me. Mm -hmm. They're all in full panic mode. Uh, they're Everything's eroding for things like that. They're freaking out. But you guys are winning because you're used to winning, winning, winning. Uh, Sloan appeared on Netflix, a document, Eat the Rich, the GameStop saga, like and continuing trend of meme stock short squeezes, to develop the Kardashian uh, economic effect with stocks like GameStop. See, now they're calling you the Kardashians, guys. You see the attacks? You uh, uh Noodles, are you noticing a pattern here with like once you're against the system, you're a memer, you're a Kardashian? Uh, what 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 other poppy uh, stuff will the alphabet media come up next as far as uh, silly things where they go into the attack mode of average Joe? You gotta you know you gotta rip them apart, and uh, if you're not with them, you're against them, and uh, take them out. Yeah, just. Uh, do what you got to do there, apes. I mean, you got to freaking show them who's boss here, man. And you guys are for real. Uh, looks like the smart money keeps on missing about it. it so here's the smart money about GME. The so-called smart money, which includes institutional investors. Ooh, yeah. Central banks. Ooh. Funds and financial professionals invest in stocks based on company fundamentals. Do not. I said this before on Twitter today, guys, to some of some of the apes out there. Do not listen a lick. If, if you get something that pops up on your board that says, oh, yeah, here, here's the top 15 stocks in November to buy, that's the freaking system telling you and trying to manipulate you to tell you what to buy. So they say that people go on boards and manipulate. The freaking alphabet news is the biggest manipulator of everything. Uh, so they are not for the people whatsoever. They're to protect the elite and their friends. They got the best four portfolios. I wonder why. Why is that, guys? Probably because they just they don't want to play by the rules of the people and not necessarily get anything it get anything in return for them. The best take of this article is the smart money shouldn't underestimate the ability of retail uh, investors to support a stock like GME for a long period of time at rather a high of a, uh, evaluation levels. Uh, so you shouldn't underestimate their ability. I mean, they're already demeaning them in that first sentence right there. Uh, they think that they are dumb, which they are not. Looking into the company's fundamentals without taking into consideration the impact of events such as meme mania. There they go again, the meme mania. Is this uh, currently uh, like the Atlantic's article, Noodles, the other day, which said uh, for uh, forgiveness for a lot of the censorship? Yeah. Did you see that? Did you see that article where they said that Please forgive us for what we did. And everybody's like, we're not forgiving you for anything. Same, just like same the, thing. Apes ain't going to forgive you for all the crap you've talked about them. Especially in the Super Bowl, man, with those rotten commercials. Hey, like buddy, all the conspiracy theories I was putting out on Twitter, you know, about masks, vaccines, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. all yeah. <laughs> they, none of them work. It's, uh, it's a battle of ideas, and the ideas of the many are outweighing the ideas of the few mm -hmm. guys i act honestly think with the article i just read and uh what's on the boards i really think they're pissing their pants right now i really do i think they're pissing their pants that this thing's gonna make a run i'm not saying a run it's gonna make a run and what a Khmer, what are you not saying the next stock we have is S O N N, and there's breaking news on the show. A skunk uh, just got hit on the road. Oh, it stinks in here. Turn it cold, man. <laughs> are you guys? Are you guys okay? Do you need to pull over or what? I don't know, dude. This thing's like gassing us out, though, man. So, road to the wise. When you're on, 
it is skunk cow, it is skunk season right now, guys. So just to let you know, there was a skunk hit during the show. Oh, freak, so, man. That sounds like burning my eyes. I thing. thought you were about to say burning your eyes. Well, we'll try to get some, uh, what was it, tomato paste or something to there you go. cut down on the smell. Yeah. Tomato my ass. Get this guy a shower, dude. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> 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 go through go put yourself through a car wash <laughs> going on to the next stock is s-o-n-n s-o-n sauna sonnet biotherapeutics holdings incorporated last tick was two dollars and 95 cents go into the chart well this one looks decent because why it's a biopharmaceutical stock guys we talked about this for the last while over the years that this is going to be some of the safer sa place to do because of what is happening with your economy. Some of you were negative and said, I didn't know what I was talking about, Kage and Rudy, and uh, Kaneo didn't know what they were talking about, but we are here, be here and you'll be nowhere so you can know what stocks uh, to check out and investigate. Uh, the last tick on this one was $2.95. It's gone through several jumps because there are several things that have been popping into news. Going on to what would you say they do here? They're in a clinical stage of biopharmaceutical bio company, which engages in the innovation of biological medicines. It's fully human uh, uh, alumbimb, if I pronounce that right, probably not. Binding FAHAB technology offers a single chain antibody fragment that binds and hitch to hikes a human serum uh, albini uh, for a transport to target tissues. In the pipeline, it focus on focus on chitines of a uh, class of cells signaling peptides, which are among the most important functions to serve for immunodelogatory uh, uh, agents. The company was founded in 2011 and is headquartered in the People's Republic of Princeton, New Jersey. Uh, going on to stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at. Kage, what do you have on the twits? Uh, how about this one from Newbie 2020? He says, S-O-N-N. This was an awesome play. For the aggressive investor, keep an eye on AGBA. It's a SPAC play that just formed up its merger target. Less than 3M float and warrants at $0.04. Cents. This is mm -hmm. surely going to run like PERF and its warrants sitting at $0.40. Cents. So. so, guys... So, guys, one of the first things I go to when I go onto these biopharmaceutical sites is I go onto the pipeline. The pipeline shows where they're at and what they do and what they're studying and things like that and where they're at. If they have any relationship. Oh, yeah. Well, he's supporting the downfall of the economy. He's just yeah. trying to send out a message there. Um, let's see. Go back. So, let's see. Yada, yada. So going forward, you need to watch uh, news breaking articles of where and what uh, is transforming with the company as far as what studies and news breaking events such as with the government or breaking through breakthrough clinical trials. So one of the first studies is dose escalation in patients with advanced solid tumors. Guys, I can tell you one thing. If they have any breakthroughs with this, this is going to be a play you are going to want to watch uh, before something happens there. Uh, so definitely do your investigation in this one. Is a phase one first inhuman open label adaptive design to outpatient study to assess safely tolerable PK and PD SON 110 administered patients with advanced solid tumors. So uh, you have that study there. We're not going to go into detail in the study, but I will go through. It looks like you got 36 uh, participants in this, uh, and they're in the phase one dose escalation study to assess the safety. Uh, they also have experimental uh, dose level four multiple injected uh, there, dose five. So they have several doses that they're going to uh, for this study. We're gonna go, uh, we're gonna, we don't have time to go into every study, but we're just gonna gloss through of uh, what they have and what they're doing. Uh, let's see here, what, what phases are we at on this? Uh, so you have 40 participants on this one, and they have also had several doses of level one, two, three, four, and five on that. Gloss through to this one, you have healthy adults. And you have uh, patients with uh, uh, persistent chemotherapy-induced peripheral neuropathy. That is very bad and very sad. Uh, you have 60 participants in this, guys, and they have several uh, experimental doses uh, with this as well. Now we're going to compare and contrast this with the alphabets, but first we're going to get a break from Kage and find out what the real traders are saying on StockTwits about this stock.
Uh, here's a take from Overlook 100. He says, S-O-N-N, bullish. Released Janison News yesterday and are releasing data tomorrow morning. Do you know companies under NDAs are privy to data before it's released? Do you really think Janison would form a partnership if the data was bad? Come on, people. Let's get with the program here. So there's a there's first there's one good thing right there is that you do have a, a partnership and relationship. Does that get you guys kind of excited with some of this? And that's why obviously that's why we saw the resistance come up and this is a jump. Uh, could this be one where uh, it's going to jump years from now? That that's subject to debate. Anything with cancer is, is a guess. There, it you know, we'll have to see how this thing plays out. But uh, it, it is it, there is some exciting news here and exciting news for people with cancer. There, go ahead. I did ask earlier, how long have they uh, been around? Uh, let's see. What we had to go back. I'll have to go back to Market Watch because they have the date on that. We'll have to go back and revisit that real quick. We'll have to circle back with Jen if that's okay. No problem. Do you think we have your permission to circle back, or is she got the copyrights to that? Uh, honestly, I don't really think anyone cares anymore. No, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it looks like from Yahoo, they said uh, the SB101 clinical study, uh, SON12 oncology patients. Uh, let's see, yada, yada. Uh, there's get the, with the webcast at 830 Eastern, uh, the company's website, participants. So you can follow the webcast. So they just have a link to the webcast, I guess. Nothing uh, too interesting there. The question of when were they were founded again? They were founded in 2011 and is headquartered in the People's Republic of Princeton, New Jersey. Uh, so yeah, home of uh, in the ocean floating hypodermic needles sometimes, if you don't believe me. Well, go read some news articles about the 80s and 90s and sometimes currently, right there, Noodles? Yeah. It happens. And it ain't from users sometimes. It's just the, the, the vehicles accidentally drop stuff here and there. Uh, but I, you weren't supposed to hear that there. That's just fake news, right, that people have seen on the, on the ground at the beach. Uh, going on to uh, stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at, Kage. What do you have on the twits? Uh, how about this one from uh, Critical? He used to be called Vertical, and he always brings his receipts. And uh, he says, S-O-N-N, continued to trend higher after the open and spiked into the round three. Came back up into the close on watch for pre-market ran 38.2 percent after we mentioned it 40 so 5.60 percent today boys it went up is this a day to buy absolutely not because there's going to be a day you can get it on the cheap don't worry about that so don't get your pom-poms out and get all excited that you're uh, going to go buy out there if you are new, you need to do paper trading. If you're new in any of this and you're a new person watching this show, please get into paper trading, which is uh, go sign up through papertrading.com. No, don't go to the website because it doesn't exist. But uh, find a way to learn that way and go tune into Ricky Gutierrez, learn how to trade, things like that, so you can uh, figure out how to do some of the stuff. Do not commit your money that you don't know what you're committing. This is for average people or uh, people that uh, are experts and things like that. So just a word of the warning. Won't get caught up in the pump up the jam. Pump it up a little more. Won't you do it? So. Iowa, get the I booty give you up. Tuesday, lose today. your money on the street. Now make my day. Because that's what you could okay. be singing if you lose your money. You'll be losing your money on the street. So make sure you paper trade before you trade these things. Wants to buy a tent. Or, or yeah, you, that's the thing. If you lose all your money, you could be sleeping in a tent. I mean, that's that's happened to people before. It's not tight. So uh, let's see. Kage, I feel really bad for you right now because I am on the twits with you, and I see nothing but promotion by promotion per promotion. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And some people are talking about MULN again. That is, like, moving uh, all the time there. Uh, what else do we got there, uh, Kage? Anything else relevant? Uh, how about the from Sleepy Joey? He says, Oh, S -O -N -N. Sleepy Joey, he's back. He's not, he's not in Florida right now? <laughs> Apparently not. Did you say this? So did you guys... so all realize how high oh, this go can go? Look at the pre RS chart. 5,000% easy, folks. Speaking of Sleepy Joe, let's bring this up. They're so desperate right now 
that do you know they they're in Florida again and they have him down there with Va they wheeled out Wa Vosser woman Schultz the Vosser um, woman she hasn't been relevant in ten years oh Debbie Wasserman Schultz yeah Vosser woman you know Vosser woman Schultz that's that's how bad it is for them right now they have her out there they back her out because. Uh, she got busted when they uh, screwed Bernie Sanders the first time when they, you know, they had already had Bernie in, uh, yeah. as a shoe in and, and they still let Bernie spend all his money on campaigning. <laughs> Bernie people should be pretty pissed off about that. You uh, think they would have, you think, I, I know some of them have come around, but I just don't, I don't, I don't get why people stay loyal to a lot of these people. I, I just, the, the, the worshiping and all this stuff, it just oh. is beyond me. So. What do we have for the next stock, Kyle? I'm ready to move on. I don't know about you. Uh, the next stock we have is ARAV. ARAV. -A Doodles is very favorite because they are, it's another biopharmaceutical. Yeah. Medical. I'm sorry, Noodles. It's just what's trending. And uh, we, have to get, we have to have some plays that are safe because you are seeing resistance popping up with this. We're going to find out in the alphabet news uh, why they're parroting in this and why they're talking about it. And if you are concerned with any uh, home and auto mortgage, please go to Plaid. Uh, put your customer's financial goals within reach. No, they didn't pay me to say that. I'm just reading their crap on here. Might, might as well give some props to Market Watch since they uh, let us uh, read from their site there without charging us. So, yeah, go to Plaid and check it out today. Or you can get some nerds, I guess, nerd ropes. They're... $28, $29 on Amazon. Get your ropes today. Make a girl happy if you uh, put the nerd rope on her. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Is uh, what, what, What's this one there? Just forgive me there, audience. Uh, what, what do you got here on this one there, uh, Kage? I think it's called Araviv. Araviv? Okay. Araviv Incorporated. Last tick was a dollar and 72 cents. After hours, it was a cent. And it is trending uh, going on to what would you say they do here? They operate in a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company. The firm engages in the development of new therapies, new wave, target important survival pathways for both advanced solid. So we're seeing a trend here, uh, guys. We have another company with advanced solid tumors. Uh, is that a little strange to you? You have two companies in the same day trending like this? Is that kind of strange or not strange to you guys? I, uh, it's I think a there's little, a correlation. It's a little odd. I think there's a correlation, but I don't think it's a causation. No, it just to me it's a little uh, odd. But as, as Noodles would say, there are no conspiracies and there are no coincidences. Wouldn't you say they're Noodles? Not at all. Oh, not at all. Sleepy Joe did say he was going to kill cancer. He did. He did say he was going to cure that. So maybe, maybe that's what they're gunning for here. They're dumping the dollars. He's. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out. It's helicopter theory, maybe, but we're just throwing it out there. This is an entertainment show with stocks. So, uh, Era V56 is a soluble F fusion protein designed to block activation of GAS6 AXL signaling pathway by intercepting the bi binding of GAS6 uh, to its receptor AXL, which promotes metabolist cancer cell survival. Resistance to treatments and immune suppression. The company was founded December 10, 2008, and is headquartered in the free state and city of Houston, Texas. Semi-free in Houston there. Uh, a little bit there. Where It just depends which, which where you go there. Going on to stock twits, because that's where the real traders are at. Kage, what do you have on the twits? Uh, here's a uh, take from from new dm on the block he says a r a v bullish not you confused with new kids on the block or what um new dm on the block i think it's a uh, dungeon master i think that's uh, yeah. that's the quote quotations for dm i think he Damn. says a r a v if this squeezes the trolling will be dare i say sizable and he has a link to another comment from Chelsea, who says bearish for this stock, but okay, guys, I have some huge news here that's really concerning that you might want to look at. So this one is thirty nine cents. Uh, it's been up forty cents. It's at a buck seventy one. Not expensive. 
Okay, just take it for a grain of salt. I'm not saying to buy it today, but you have ovarian cancer. It's in phase three, uh, platinum resistant. Is that something to think? Is that something to put on your watch list that they're that far into phase three? And is this too yes, sir. Is this simply cheap to where it's at, or is this the alphabets just propping this thing up and going with it because they got paid to promote? I don't know. What do you guys got? Well, I think. Uh, yeah, I it's, think it's how much is the money? How much is it? Be how much does it cost right now? It's a B. How much does it cost right now? It's a B seventy one right now. You're looking at B seventy one. So for those that don't know what a B is, a dollar seventy one. For a biopharma, that's not uh, look up Norovax. Okay, look up Norovax and tell the listeners what Norovax is. NR, I think it's NRVX. Just give them a little, give them a little tip here, or somebody look it up. I don't care. And what's Norovax, doc? Just for right now. Maybe I got the ticker wrong. No, renal cancer. First in line, uh, and then second line, uh, ineligible for curative intent therapy. You're at phase two. Uh, you're not at phase three, so that's a second. That's a second study that they that they're going to. Not phase three yet, but you'll get phase three news. And then uh, next comes obviously approval. And then uh, you also have pancreatic uh, endocarcinoma. Uh, they are in phase. What is that? It looks like phase one, almost to phase two, and cancer fibrosis, which they are in preclinical. Too many things in the hopper, guys. Not saying that uh, you know. It, it's something to watch out for. I'm just saying, uh, there's there's too many things that they are working on that affect too many Americans in the country, and also it doesn't help that the food has complete trash in it that everybody eats right now, and it does not help your internals. So, and most people don't take things that uh, detoxify their body and things like that. They don't know what to take because they don't know better. Because what does Big Pharma want to do? They wanted to. Sell it, sell as many pills so, as possible, and sell as many vaxes, vaccinations as possible. Mm -hmm. So, what, what did you find out about Neurovax, Coggy? What's up? Coggy, what did you find out about Neurovax? Uh, it was definitely in the uh, pocket of the CC fingers and mid pies. But how, how much is how much is it per share? Because we're just going by right now. How much is it per share now? Uh, now, uh, how much is Neurovac back today? It's been down a little bit from where it was in 2020, 2021 ish. But we're just trying to show the listeners there. From you're at a buck seventy one on this one now. Is this next Neurovax? Absolutely not. I don't know. But the example is is where you could be if you follow these phases. You just have to do your watch list, or you can just paper trade and do fake trading and buy as many shares as you want because you're not paying for it. Uh, let's see. Stock tr Stock Trishan says he bought three thousand shares a week ago, and he says he should have bought more. Uh, yeah, and he should probably uh, don't freaking uh, drop out yet either. It, it, watch what you got if you got that many shares. That's that's a good it's a good deal right there. It's actually exciting. Uh, what did you find out about Neurovax, Kage, For as far as what it what it is right now. So we're going into what well, we had Kage look up uh, Norovax. So on May 24th, 2019, same example with this company, uh, you had Norovax at $6.12. Then uh, pandemic hits, Norovax goes to $289.76. Uh, it also, now it is down because everybody's shorted now. Now you're down to 22 bucks. So, and we won't say, we won't, we'll let people put things together why it's at $22 a share. You can do your own homework with things like that. But the, but the main thing of the example is here is that you have several phases and several different ways to enter. Uh, some of you are going to short it. Some of you are going to short and forget. The rookies usually short and forget. And what happens to them is that they lose out uh, making thousands of dollars by forgetting. They just made a quick buck and they moved on. The experienced people will make their profits and then they'll come back, get in and do what they have to do to possibly get their profits. Uh, so there you have it on that. Uh, what else do you have on the Twits, Kage, as far as with this one after we just went over our little example of why to be careful when you're shorting and why to be careful when you're trading? Uh, what do you have else about this stock here? Uh, how about this one from Big Black Bull? He says S-N-O-A- 
No, no, no. That's a, that's a different different guy. He he uh, he was talking about another one. Uh, he, Doc Illuminati says that this freaking board gained. Uh, let's see what do he say here. He said he gained 195 new watchers on this board. Gee, I wonder why. Could it be they're in? They're almost to phase three and uh, clear cell, and they're about ready to bust loose for ovarian cancer and mm -hmm. the other one too. Mm -hmm. So you know you. Were we were talking before about how you know there's two companies you know being talked about at one time all of a sudden and yeah kind of strange well, huh? um, well you know i'm all about conspiracies and stuff you know so mm -hmm. you have you have like people just dropping dead out of nowhere nobody knows why we can't figure that out um and there's all kinds of cancers going on now so i'm gonna i'm gonna like make a prediction that you're gonna start seeing this a lot where these companies are like this close to are popping up because yeah it's you know it's uh it's the new disease now that's gonna be like popping up everywhere it also doesn't help that you're getting hit people are getting hit by tons of radioactive waves all the time but everybody thinks that oh it's just nothing it's just uh more more uh you know garbage helicopter theory and all that kind of stuff you know just quit this is a coincidence again you know uh i've g Mm -hmm. Radioactive waves. So Anasio says, I feel like they sell this data to the hedgy, so I'm not gonna throw in a bear for good measure. That's not that bad of a take, guys. Would you say that? Mm. That might be the best bear take I've seen in a while from somebody. Mm. No, Bueller. <laughs> yeah, I, you, I think I uh, covered that. What one. would you guys say you do <laughs> here? There we have it. So you guys, uh, you guys don't measure. understand. You guys just don't understand. Nope. That was a bullish. Nope. Man, there is a lot of there is a lot, guys. There is a lot of promotions on the board, Kage. I feel really bad for you today because the boards here are just not that great. Maybe it's the nighttime. Yeah, it was. Uh, there's a there's a lot of. Uh, bull crap i had to sort through yeah so. I'm, like, I'm like seriously I, I got freaking arrested development going in my head i'm like looking at the boards guys and i'm like take me to another place take me to another land because th there's so much promotion on this board it's just freaking uh kill me man so, uh yeah i don't got any, i got only thing to add on this i don't got anything on to add on this but to seriously just like watch this one take a look at it uh, is it economic proof? Nothing is economic proof because we're in an economy. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. Every day you get up, you got to play that freaking record over and over again. And how's it go again, Camille? No. Camille, how's that record go again? Yes. There's nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide yeah. Yeah. Why does he sound like Darth Vader? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's watched too many Donner Donner. Don Don yeah so Burn. you're an economy yeah. that is uh, nowhere to run to baby uh, nowhere to run. To you, got, you got uh nowhere to run nowhere to hide economy so but um yeah this one looks interesting take me to the highway and some people any, some people yeah. are probably gonna get beat up for being a bear on this one too I would think that's that's just gonna be my prediction is that there could be a bear on that. Uh, so, anyways, you guys got anything to add? Hopefully, we don't have to talk about biopharmaceutical tomorrow. Uh, not, you know, maybe the yeah. army of apes will move the needle. Yeah. That'll be the lead for the show tomorrow. Army of apes. Let's go apes. Let's go apes. Let's go apes. Mills, what do you got to say about the show today? Can we please get Hot your takes. Two cents in this tonight. Cents. Hmm. Don't yeah, make it a dog I, show. I uh, I had a blast. Yeah, nice. I had a blast, and uh, here's my two cents. He Thank can't. You. He can't. Noodles can't wait for the skunk take to upload tonight. That's what he wants. His chair is up. He wants. He wants, he wants the, the YouTube short to upload tonight for that the skunk one. I'm. Uh, I'm take it away. Take it away, Mike. Take it away. Don't make it a dog show. You got anything to add, Kage? Now let's uh, just call it let's and uh, take it away, say, Mike. Uh, I said take stay it away. safe out there. Watch yourself and make Keep good choices. Away. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now. <laughs>